Good morning. I am Jan, of course, at Garden City, California, Sound and Life and Arts. Do these meditations every Wednesday morning because it helps us come back to our center and our core and helps us have a good attitude. Why is attitude important? Attitude is everything. So I break it down into smaller pieces. Attitude is your belief in your perceptions and what you expect will happen. So if in the past people have hurt you or you haven't had good luck, you're constantly sending out little vibrational electromagnetic messages to draw more of that back in. So if we don't want to keep re-experiencing trauma and pain and loss and not having money or great relationships, we have to go in and unwind some of those patterns so that our attitude, which we really can't change on a superficial, just simple affirmation level, but our attitude can change at that fundamental, broader, basic foundational level. So today's meditation is going to be about releasing betrayal. I know so many people, sometimes, um, well, it's men and women, but it's often as you grow later in your life, you get tired of trying. So it's people in their 50s or 60s or say, I don't want to go there. I don't want to open my heart because it's just too painful. And so we miss out on one of life's greatest, beautiful, wonderful vulnerability of love and giving and receiving love. So I think that's a pretty good place to start today with our meditation. And this is the Be the Light meditation. We have three distinct steps. So we're going to start with the first one. Let's take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. We ask and intend to set this sacred space. We place a whole line of balance over our entire body. That's a simple geometric structure. It's like a pyramid with four sides. Stand squarely on the floor. Feel that solid foundation and safety. Our intention is to reprogram our attitude about opening our heart and receiving love and not feeling that excruciating pain of betrayal anymore. We're going to reform our thoughts about it and attract in people who also want gentle, kind, reciprocal love without all that nonsense. Take a deep breath. The nonsense of fear, withholding, controlling, domination. Those are the things that we need to release those beliefs and those hanger honors of our old relationships. So we're going to call in our spirit guides. You know who they are, or it doesn't matter if you don't know who they are, because they are beings of light who are going to surround you and hold you very safely during this meditation, gently and safely. Take a nice deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. We're going to ask to see things exactly as they are. Full of potential, peace, and harmony until we bring our old attitude in. Take a nice deep breath. We're still doing some adjusting because we've kind of created a tight spiral of expectations and drama trauma over the years. So this is going to take a little bit of time and patience to breathe in and allow these new particles to come in and burn it away, burn the bridge that held this connecting thoughts. Thought goes to the past, goes to history, recharges your system in trauma. Take a nice deep breath, and we're going to just sit here quietly for a moment and still our minds. We ask and intend to quiet our thinking, to bring our mental to the zero point, beautiful, 
completely calm and aligned. Feels wonderful just to drop into yourself again, doesn't it? Nice deep breath. Oh, stop all the thinking, all the chores, all the to do list here in this moment. So I want you to bring up, let it bubble up from that deep, 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 deep attitudinal abyss of expectations and repeated retunement of trauma. Let the bubble, let something bubble up of the feeling of being betrayed or that you might be betrayed. And feel that. And notice that that betrayal is not happening right now. In fact, you're inviting it to have by, happen by envis envisioning it, by opening the door to its creation. Beautiful. Just feel in this moment the potential to not have that ever happen again. We have to replace the old feeling with the new feeling. So think of someone you know like a song you've never heard, we have to access a new vibrational field. Think of someone that you know. Can't think of somebody, think of an imaginary person who has never experienced betrayal, who has at the earliest, earliest emotional flutter, felt safe, held, honored, respected, and loved so deeply that it would be unimaginable to have anybody betray that being. Feel in and merge with that feeling world, how that feels. Safe, expansive, rolling, flexible, calm, exciting, joyful. Let these new higher vibrations begin to dissipate and unwind and hold a new story for yourself. And notice we haven't even done any fancy energy work yet. So now we're going to do that just to kind of tune everything up to the nth degree. Just imagine that you're opening your crown chakra now. And that you are asking, we are asking that the creator and all of your divine helpers open your brain circuitry and your body for a shower of new cleansing, Repatterning vibrational flows, ribbons, right into your beingness, right into your actual hardwire of your brain. We ask and intend that we release our sadness, our agony, and our pain of having been betrayed. We see it for what it was, part of the learning, and to bring us to this place of saying, no more. We allow these new mitigating vibrations to come in and to bring love. We ask that the vibration of trust, trusting love, come deeply into our cellular tissues and mainly our heart. Let your heart just swell up and expand with this gorgeous, delicious, New vibration of loving essence. There it is. Now you are safe to love. You are safe for other people to approach. You don't have that big armoring on. Let yourself soften and let it all flow through. We ask and intend to release the last armoring and push away energy that we have held probably for eons. At least one lifetime, pushing love away is unsafe and painful. Take a deep breath and allow again this essence to go deep, 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 so there's nothing untouched by this new vibration. Let it go down out the bottom of your feet. Continue into the deepest part of the earth energetic field. Bring it back up through your body, through your feet, your legs, up into your heart. So now here you are. You're like this beautiful hot air balloon of pure love and light, but you're tethered to the earth. So you're here. You're here in a body. 
that actually loves love just had some little blockages. So here we are, just ready to express and be and be an effusive giver of love, which is a signal out into the world, not a fear, but of love. And that invites people in. Now, we ask and intend that we invite the right people in that match our vibration. And that's the law of the universe. Before you were sending out fear, so you got other people who feared love and ran and betrayed you. We are raising the bar for you and love in all relationships, not just romantic, intimate relationships. So lift this energy up and out and let more love come in, more joy, more flow, more presence, more beingness, and a softer sense of acceptance an allowance if you see someone else in fear, that it no longer can ignite fear in you. So you're now a healing agent for all beings around this topic of love. And so it is. Send this energy up, plug it into the creator source, and now the whole circuitry is complete. Put a beautiful golden resilient egg around your body today to protect this beautiful, soft, gentle, effusive is the word I get, like a mist of love. Let that gently settle in your entire being and let this beautiful golden resilient egg protect you. Thank you for joining me today. I am Jan Jorgensen at soundandlighthealingarts.com. Thank you.